Hello, Teacher Casey here. Are you having trouble with your bookings? Do you have low or no bookings? Well, here are my tips to help you get some more bookings. Okay, I'm back to give you the 11 tips that I have found to work for some, for all, for hopefully for everybody. So let's take a look at them individually. Number one, check your profile. Check your pictures, check your video. Do you have professional pictures? Are they meant to be fun? Are they updated? Do they give a glimpse into the real you? I think a lot of times parents will look at these pictures and then maybe take a look at the video based on what they see on the pictures or the cover of the video. So make sure they're updated. Number two, do you have six tags? Now teacher tags are the tags that the mock mentors had given you at the beginning when you did your mock class, or you might have put in a ticket to find out your tags. You don't need a ticket anymore. Now, if you go to the teacher portal, to my info, and then click on tags, it'll show you what tags you have. If you don't have six, you can go and add your own tags. Now, I had five tags originally, and what I decided to do was to take a look at some of the comments that parents had left and decided on one more tag that fit my personality based on what my parents have said. So, my tags are facial expressions, you can probably see why if you've ever seen level one classes. TPR and body language. I'm all about talking with my hands, showing my objects, <laughs> using my body to get my point across. Pronunciation, detail oriented, energetic, and student engagement. I'm really happy with my six tags, so all I need to do is add just one more and I did, and I think it was pronunciation. Okay, that brings me to number three. Open PPT and peak time slots. Those give you the best chance of getting bookings. PPT is your peak peak time slots. And that is from 7 to 8.30 Beijing time. Also, peak time come the two slots before and the two slots after that. Um, the two slots after right now are for trial lessons only. So I keep those open as well, hoping to get maybe a short notice trial booking in there. Number four, workshops. Especially if you're new, doing the new teacher kickoff workshops can earn you tokens, but more importantly, it gives you a series of workshops and ideas. Now, there is a little rumor that goes around saying that if you take workshops or certifications that you move up in some sort of list. Not sure, but if it works, it works. You might as well go for some workshops, learn a few things, and hopefully add to your bookings. Which brings me to number five, certifications. As soon as you can, I would recommend getting certifications. Trial lessons, okay, trial lessons are not for everybody, but they're part of my favorites. And as soon as I could, I grabbed certification in trial lessons. I love them, they're just so much fun. And sometimes you can get a little extra bonus if you convert them into um, getting into the VIP Kid program. So there are plenty of other certifications though. There's Starlight, there's Grammar, there's level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's plenty of things, plenty of options for you to try. Now I would suggest once they're available to you, click on that you want those certifications, whether or not you can do the course at that time. I say this because sometimes they might only have 100 slots and if you don't start the process, you might not get a slot. So if you want that certification, I would say go ahead and sign up for it and then um, finish the certification as soon as you can. They do say, as I mentioned before, that if you take certifications and workshops, you move up on some sort of list. I'm not sure if that's true, but I try to do a certification or a workshop every couple of days 
And that way there, if you do move up on a list, I'm continually trying to move up on that list. Hey, you never know, right? Okay, number six, open short notice. The button on your phone app will turn blue when it's for short notice. Short notice bookings can get you, usually I've found that it gets me trial lessons, but I leave them open and then before I go to bed, I'll close everything um, or set an alarm 30 minutes before and check to see if any have booked. So just a little tip, you don't wanna wake up and have a teacher no-show because you didn't turn those short notice bookings off. A short notice booking, they can book you within 24, it's 24 hours, but they can book you up to an hour for that time slot. So if you have 7.30 open, short notice, they can book you up until 6.30, so one hour before. So it's always a good thing to check your schedule. Number seven are e-cards. E-cards are a lot of fun to send to the kids. Maybe they've had a class with you once and you wanna send them an e-card to rebook you again. Well, there's already an e-card that says, book me. And there's four little preset things to say on the cards. Now, you can't say what you'd like to anymore because everything's preset, but there's four choices for each category to choose from. So they're just a lot of fun. The kids love getting them. And hey, it might help you with your bookings. On the kids' birthdays, I always make sure to send a birthday e-card. And one time I sat for about hour and a half, two hours, and gave each student an e-card about the Mid-Autumn Festival, which is a Chinese holiday. Well, the next morning I woke up with a bunch of bookings. Maybe it was the e-cards, maybe not, but I'd like to think it was the e-cards, sending the kids a message that I care, I'd like to see them again, and that I was thinking about them. So e-cards for the little special occasions, their birthdays, different things. I think the kids enjoy those. And it shows the parents that you're thinking about their child. Number eight, submitting a ticket for low or no bookings. Now, I'm gonna read this part because I wanna make sure you know where to go. If you need to submit a ticket, go to the teacher portal, the support tab, click on contact support, the category is teaching, bookings, and then there'll be another thing to click on that says low or no bookings. This is the way I was told to submit a ticket. Luckily, I've been fortunate and have not had to submit a low or no booking ticket, but I have been told that this is something that helps you, that maybe it goes to the LPs or somebody that um, maybe puts in a good word. I don't really know, but it's supposed to help you get some bookings. Okay, number nine. Open slots two weeks in advance to maximize your chance of getting booked right after a class. So after you finish a class with a student, they can go in up to two weeks later and rebook that time slot and everything. So you wanna make sure that when you're teaching a class, you have two weeks open in case they wanna rebook you. Number 10, be consistent. Now this one I'm gonna read a little bit because I have a quote for you from the FAQ section. So according to the FAQ and the teacher portal, keeping a consistent schedule can help you get regular students. Open your time slots on a regular basis. Many parents hope their teacher can teach their child regularly. If your schedule is too random, they might feel apprehensive to have their child become a regular student. So being consistent showing them that if they want 4.30 two, three times a week and that you're opening that slot, well, they have a chance to get into that slot. So that was just something from the FAQ that was a little heads up to get extra bookings. And number 11, the VIP kid incentives. Sometimes they have fun incentives. They change all the time. And to be honest, you might miss it if you're not looking for them or staying up with what's going on. So check the Facebook groups, um, check the teacher portal, and the hutong. The hutong can be found under the communities tab in the teacher portal. The hutong has some fun activities, some great chats going on there. You can find out a lot of information. And um, yeah, it's a great community to go to. So check out that hutong if you haven't already checked it out. And give the incentives a try. 
We recently had a paint bucket incentive challenge. I was on the orange team, woo hoo, go orange. And we each, everyone that made their individual goal, since we all made it as a team, we each got $70 just for participating and making our individual goal, which in turn helped the team goal. So great job, orange team, a little plug for the orange team. All right, guys, that's all I have for you for today. 11 ways to help your bookings. Message me in the comments. Um, send me a private message. Tell me things that have worked for you. Maybe things that you've tried that didn't work and I can let people know. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So subscribe to my channel, like this video, please. And have a great time teaching. Have fun, everybody.